Greetings, YouTube. We're here doing some more network testing. I am back here at the nation's capital, and I'm on the back side of the capital, or what they call the east side. And this is what I consider the more business oriented side. You got the archives over there behind those trees. This is a uh, East Capitol Street. And then this is the Supreme Court right there. So a lot of people are walking, talking, everybody's on their phones. And I wanted to see what the capacity and capabilities of the three carriers on this side, because this is where the legislation happens at. You know, representatives and everybody come here to see their representatives, talk to them, call them on the phone. So let's see what network capacity uh, the three carriers have. Oh, before I do that, let me give you the look of where I am. All right. So as you can see, East Capitol Street. And with ECAP, ECAP you got the, uh, the Senate is on this side and the House is on this side. Those are the only buildings that they can post up um, antennas on top of. There's no antennas on top of the Capitol itself. Um, everything is building top um, oriented. So there's no cell towers in this vicinity. So that's the only way you can get service in this area. That's the reason why I did, I'm doing both sides of the Capitol. Uh, the next video will be the cap, um, west side of the mall. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it this way is because what's on one side does not affect the other side. But um, let's get this framed up. So you got Verizon as usual uh, in the white on the left. AT&T is in the middle and T-Mobile is on the far right hand side. So right now Verizon is giving us band two. Well, now it's switch. Band 66, 10 megahertz. Um, band two, band 48, band 48. Band 48, woo, four carriers of, uh, three carriers of 48, one carrier of two. So Verizon is giving all the beans from this side, this point of view. And then while I am giving the rest, Let that run. AT&T is giving us band 66, 10 megahertz. And that's all they're giving us right now. Probably when I hit the speed test, that's when it's gonna give me the beans. And then uh, T-Mobile, let's see what's it giving us. One extra carrier of 66, band 12, 10, band 30, 10, so AT&T is not, it's not as capacitive as I thought it was going to end up being, being the fact that they are the, you know, the oldest network. And then T-Mobile on you know, standalone in 41. Is on steroids. So with all the extra people around, different people come from different places. This is what the uh, east side of the capital looks like in comparison to the west side. So Verizon at 86.1 down, 36 up. Good, I expect more, but that's probably because they haven't uh, been able to put millimeter wave in this area, this side of the, the capital. I know on the west mall, side i think they do have millimeter wave on the mall on uh, at&t should be better than this but their performance is still good at 100 down and 34 up six millisecond ping very good performance 
but not a lot of capacity. And then T-Mobile, you know, showing off at 470 down and 48 up and 20 millisecond ping. So AT&T has the more responsive network, but, but the least capacitive network. So let's see what speed test offers. All right, so still, let's see what we're getting with Verizon. Band 6610, band two. All right, so we got N77. It just kicked in. N77, that's the 60 megahertz and the 100 megahertz are on deck. Band five, band 66. So we're not doing CBRS. at and let's see what we connect with. What are we getting? Band two and band 30, along with N5. So at and is only doing N5 for their NR, along with band 66. And T-Mobile. N41, N41 again with 90 megahertz, and that's it. That's all the beams. So Verizon at 177 down, 22 up. Uh, AT&T is 165 down, 44 up, and T-Mobile 8 33 down and 58 up so t-mobile has a lot more room for capacity on this side than i saw that i've seen so they have blanket this area with their uh ultra capacity as much as they possibly can um there's a lot more potential for verizon at&t but they're just not haven't done it yet uh i don't know what they're waiting on but t-mobile's trying to pull ahead Let's see what my access look like for fast. Fast and fast. All right, as you can see, video performance is still good on all three carriers. I expect more out of AT&T and a lot more out of Verizon, but T-Mobile is the one that's carrying the day. Verizon's even kicking in band 13 into this, as you can see, as a secondary carrier along with N77. Let's see, N77 is only a negative 100. What are we getting? Verizon must be beaming the N77 from somewhere else because that performance is very bad given the fact of where I'm at. N5 for AT, no, N66 for AT&T is negative 95. And N41 is negative 90. Uh, N77 is not performing very well at this location. It should be giving me a lot more juice. So. Let's see.
Now, Imperve, Imperve, Imperve. Now, Imperve has not been working very well with AT&T. I don't know why. I thought it might have been my phone, but Imperve is just not working with AT&T at all. Network speeds are still pretty good holding. But like I said, I expect more out of the two older networks than I do the, no the younger one. Both AT&T and uh, Verizon are in uh, non-standalone configurations. And then the sun decides to pop out. All right, 360p and AT&T drops it again. AT&T does not like Imperv at all. All right, 360p for T-Mobile. All right, so Verizon gives us 85 down, 52 up, 33 millisecond ping. And T-Mobile is giving us 252 down, 68 up, and 41 millisecond ping. All right, so browsing and streaming is good on Verizon. Browsing and streaming is good on T-Mobile. All right, last one. Because what if you gotta download an app of some sort to meet your representative? I don't know. I use PUBG. Too many peas. All right, so since T-Mobile has been more aggressive, I'm gonna do one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right, so AT&T is two, Verizon two, T-Mobile 10. Nine, ten, seventeen, T Mobile. Seventeen, twenty two, twenty seven. A lot closer than I thought it would be. Thirty one, thirty five, forty one. Still, T Mobile has the edge. Forty three, forty eight, fifty nine. T Mobile. Fifty two, sixty two, seventy six. Still T Mobile. So T Mobile's not running away with it, but it's still ahead. Sixty five, seventy nine, and one hundred percent. There you go. So T Mobile rent has it. AT&T is still doing pretty good. Like, like I said, the performance is there, but the juice is not there. Verizon is in the middle of the pack with juice and performance, but not as fast. But um, thank y'all for watching. Um, leave your comments below. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get more speed testing. I'm here in DC trying to uh, show you what the nation's capital looked like. The sun finally went back in, thank God. Um, 
But thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a good one.